Hey guys, as always, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this foundation routine. This makeup routine is very fresh and young and glowy and also in this video I give some tips and tricks and also I show you the best brushes or the brushes that I think are the best for these products and this method so if you guys want to see this glowy foundation then please keep watching. The first step I do before putting on any foundation or anything like that is I moisturize my skin. So I'm going to be using this Fresh Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Face Cream. I use this face cream in the morning and at night. This is probably one of my all-time favorite facial moisturizers ever. So I would definitely recommend this. Whether you do makeup or not, whether you wear makeup or not, I really love this moisturizer. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the Smashbox Studio Skin. And I know it looks a little bit dark, but this actually is the shade that matches my body. I'm using this with a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. And what I'm gonna do is just pat this into my skin. And this brush really does give the most coverage, so I like to use this when I'm going to be um, like doing a photo shoot or wearing my makeup all day long. This helps to keep the maximum coverage, unlike a beauty blender, sometimes that can absorb some of your product, and it really helps it last all day. This is definitely one of my favorite foundations along with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. That's also one of my all-time favorites. And these two, I would say, are probably the best of the best that I've tried personally. These are like the best for my skin. So after you're all done applying your foundation, you're gonna go in with your concealer. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. I really do like this concealer for the price. It's only $6. I think it's one of the best concealers I've ever tried. I do use the Tarte Shape Tape, so if you guys wanna see a review between the two, I will definitely do that. But one thing I really like about this concealer more than the Tarte Shape Tape is this is really buildable. Whereas the shape tape gets kind of splotchy if you were to overlap. So this, if you blend your first layer and you wanna put another layer, you can definitely do that, which is what I like to do with this one if I'm having a day with really dark circles. So for $6, I feel like you cannot go wrong with this concealer. So now that I'm done on the outside, I'm gonna work my way onto the inside, and this just is because I like to let it sit on my under eye for a little bit before I blend everything out. I just feel like it gives a little bit more coverage that way, um, so it's a little bit more dry when you blend it out and your blender doesn't take it all away. So as you can see, it really brightened up my under eye. I personally have never seen anybody use a dry beauty blender to blend their concealer, and that's why I love this trick. I feel like I made this up, I don't know. But I really like how it makes my concealer look. I like how it doesn't take any away from the coverage. I just think it, it works well. So I would recommend giving that a try, especially if you have dark circles. Or even if you get creasing under your eye, I think that would really help. To set my under eye and some of my foundation, I'm going to be using my Airspun Loose Face Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna be taking this on an e.l.f. angled brush. Tap off the excess and just pat this underneath my under eye. I also like to take a little and just pat it lightly on my cheekbones where I'm going to be putting my bronzer and my blush. And I just find that it makes my face products blend a little better and doesn't make it splotchy or anything like that. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And this is the shade Havana. I'm gonna be taking this on my Vanity Planet powder slash blush brush. So I'm just gonna be taking this shade and placing it right where my cheek would naturally contour. I'm also gonna pat whatever's left on my brush onto my cheekbone so I can have kind of like that natural bronze. I'm gonna take this Havana color and I'm just going to keep putting it on the outside of my face, so like on my forehead, again on the cheeks, just to add a nice color and dimension to my skin. For my highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. 
and I'm going to use this shade here, which is Mimosa. I'm gonna apply this with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. For blush, I'm gonna use my Sigma Aura Powder. And the reason I like to do my blush last is so I can kind of blend my bronzer and my highlight together. So I'm gonna take this last and I'm going to just put it on my cheekbones in between the two products. So once you're done with your entire face, you're gonna take your setting spray, whichever you have. I like to use my MAC Fix Plus. So what I like to do is spray half of my face first and then fan it to dry it and then move on to the other side of my face. So this is the final result. I hope you guys liked my foundation tutorial. Very glowy and natural. This is like my go-to tutorial whenever I'm doing a photo shoot or just going out for the night. This is the same routine I like to do every time. Please, please, please let me know if you guys would like to see me do more makeup videos. I have been mainly focusing on hair because that is what you guys really wanna see. So if you want to see makeup looks as well, definitely let me know because I would love to do them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.